Next Week in Wolfboro is underwritten by the Downtown Grill Cafe. The Downtown Grill Cafe is located at 33 Main Street in beautiful Wolfboro, New Hampshire, with a fantastic view of Lake Winnipesaukee and Cape Park. Hours of operations are daily from 7 a.m. until 3 p.m. For more information about this underwriter, check out the website, www.downtowngrill.cafe. Welcome to Next Week in Northboro. I am your host, Will Hunter. Caden is off for a few weeks, so he will not be reading, so I will be reading solo f- for you today. And good news, I'm back in the studio at Wolfboro Community Television, where I bring your community to view. We say thank you to our friends at the Downtown Girl Cafe for underrated Next Week in Wolfboro. It is through their support and yours that programs like ours are possible on Wolfboro Community Television. If you'd like to underwrite a program for Wolfboro Community Television, please contact our producers at 569-0219. We also want you to let your friends and family from out of town know they can watch this program on Facebook and YouTube. Once you're logged into either Facebook or YouTube, just search for Wolfboro Community Television and you'll find us on Next Week in Wolfboro. Considering the current situation regarding the COVID-19 virus affecting public events and group gatherings, it is important for you to confirm any events we mention will actually be taking place. We're sharing with you what we know has been planned and events scheduled in the Wolfboro area. However, safety must come first, so we respect and appreciate who's are making the difficult decisions about continuing, postponing, and canceling events. There's no report to share this week from the Chamber of Commerce. However, here's some things I'd like to share with everyone. We'll start with Friday, September 18th. Hydrate flushing started Thursday and will continue until October 1st from 7 a.m. until 3 p.m. and 11 p.m. until 6 a.m. This may cause some discolored water in your town water supplied systems. On Saturday, September 19th, the next to last Lakes Region Hazardous Household product collection of the year will take place at 8.30 a.m. until 12 noon at 404 Beach Pond Road. For more information, call 651-7530. In honor of International Credit Union Day, the Wright Museum will have free admission for credit union members. Plus, each credit union member may bring one free guest. On Sunday, September 20th, bring the kids to Wolf Bros Children's Center Touch a truck display at the Nick from 11 a.m. until 1 p.m. On Wednesday, September 23rd, summer is history. Wednesday, September 23rd is the beginning of the fall season. The annual Girl Scouts dance party and robot building party takes place at the Nick Lower Field from 5 until 6 p.m. On Thursday, September 24th, the Wolfboro Area's Farmer's Market will be at Clark Park from 12.30 p.m. until 4.30 p.m. They often have local produce, fresh eggs, milk, meats, baked bread, and much more. The All Saints Episcopal Church Wolfboro Dinner Program continues with meal distribution between 4 and 6 p.m. in the church parking lot every Thursday afternoon. On Saturday, September 26th, find some treasures and have some fun at the Gala's Makerspace Tool Yard Sale. This event takes place at 23 Bay Street from 8 in the morning until 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Items can be dropped off between 9.30 a.m. and 12 noon on Tuesday and Thursday. Tours to see inside the building will be held at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. The Wolfboro Friends of Music presents a video concert featuring Fred Moyer on piano at 7.30 p.m. How do you attend a concert online? Just send an email to info at friendsofmusic.org. The Friends of Music will send you a YouTube link to watch the program at 7.15 p.m. There will be a live Zoom conversation with Fred Moyer immediately after the concert. See the details in your response from the Friends of Music when you ask for the link. Sunday, September 27th. This is the last day to view the display of AP photos of Vietnam, the real war, from 12 noon to 4 o'clock p.m. at the Wright Museum. Okay, let's send it over to Parks and Recreation Department for an update on upcoming programs and activities. Christine Collins is at her desk. We'll send it over to you, Christine Collins. Thanks, Will. Christine Collins here with Wolfboro Parks and Recreation and just want to share what's happening over here. So we are in the midst of getting our rink ready. Um, I should be 
laid down soon. We typically start the chillers the end of September, but we have to get that concrete ready. So we're washing the concrete and we're trying to get that all ready. Um, and then believe it or not, we actually paint the ice. So we will layer a couple, um, basically the Zamboni goes around and it will layer water and um, the concrete is actually set to a certain temperature so that will freeze the water. So we get so much of a thickness of ice that will be laid and then once that is laid, they actually spray paint it and then they lay more ice to protect it. So I know that usually it looks like ice might freeze a little white, but it, it would not be that white. Um, so that's why it's painted. And then we put all the red lines and the blue lines and the curling lines and all the lines in there. So um, we're going to try to get that on camera. I think we've done it before on camera just to see it, but it is pretty awesome. Um, so stay tuned because we'll try to put it on our Facebook page or at least put it on one of these things so you can see because the process is quite amazing. And then when we pull it out, we have to chunk out the ice, melt it down a little bit, and we actually take it out in chunks. Otherwise, it would flood our whole facility. But it is pretty amazing if you've never seen it before. So we have that going on. We are, um, signups are ready for soccer and field hockey. Um, and we are looking at doing a little bit of a programming for fall um, type. We're not going to do our fall festival this year, but we're going to have something similar to um, do. And stay tuned also, we are going to be doing a scarecrow contest for the month of October. So we do have some stuff happening here. Um, so definitely check us out on Facebook. You can go online um, to our website and see what we have going on. And then um, we are hopping right into winter after that to start getting Abenaki ready. So we will see you soon and hope all is well with you. Uh, to, back to you, Will. Thank you, Christine Collins. All right, now our library director, Cindy Scott, is ready to give us a library update. We're sending it over to you, Cindy Scott. Thanks, Will. The Thayer Local History and Genealogy Room is now available at the library for use by appointment. Besides historical materials, we have equipment for scanning pictures and documents, and you can bulk scan them. And we have an affiliate family search um, license, so we are also able to be used with the family search database for extra information when you're doing your genealogy research. We are also making the beaver meeting room available on a limited basis to groups of up to eight people. For appointments for any of these spaces, please call the library at 569-2428. Back to you, Will. Thank you, Cindy Scott. And now we will hear from Father Cole at St. Catherine Drexel Catholic Church. He has Deacon Charlie and Gertrude Hammond with him today. Hello, Father Cole. We are sending it over to you. Well, hi, Will. Here we are at St. Catherine Drexel in the middle of the month of September. This is really quite exciting. Uh, took the air conditioners out yesterday, so we're getting ready for, for autumn, for fall. I'm here with uh, Gertrude Hammond, who's in charge of our faith formation, doing a great job, and Deacon Charlie Ferraro. Good to have you here with us again, Charlie. Wonderful, wonderful. I want to mention uh, the right of Christian initiation for adults and teenagers and children, but over the past few weeks, we've been able to baptize two young women, uh, 118 and 122, uh, uh, Victoria Smith. We were able to baptize her and confirm her, give her first Eucharist. And then this past Sunday, Bryce Edwards, the same baptism, confirmation, and, and Eucharist. So it really is beautiful to be bringing uh, young adults uh, into the faith, into the body of Christ. If you know anybody who would like to become a member of the body of Christ, please contact us and Linda Hilton uh, heads up the RCIA. Charlie, I'm going to turn it over to you. Okay, thank you, Father. Uh, we want to talk about a lot of the good things that are going on here in the parish, one of which is, as I mentioned in prior uh, sessions, is that we are back to baptizing uh, in the church, and we've had such an outpouring of requests for that. We have this yellow card, which we have in the entrance of our church, which is called the Founded Hope, uh, and today we are celebrating the Mother of God and her special role in our redemption. Uh, and many, many times 
the first request that we get is from the mother of the child or the, even the grandmother of the child. And so it's been very beautiful to experience the joy and the celebration that occurs with the family, and in a lot of cases, the extended family. So if you've been thinking about having your child baptized, uh, we are now back doing that. Uh, and we do that on a family basis, uh, one family at a time, to reach out to us, to the parish office, and request the information for setting up a date to do that. We look forward to hearing from you. Yes, and I, and I will say that Deacon Charlie meets with you and spends time uh, preparing, and it's a, it's a good, positive experience. It really getting good feedback on that. Now, Gertrude, uh, this is going to be a big week for us. We have a, we were very excited, just as I am so excited, the children, youth, and families I've seen in the last few weeks sharing with me about returning to education, returning to their athletic activities. We are beginning to have a return to faith formation and youth ministry here at St. Catherine Drexel Parish. And just as we offer mass, where you come at our normal mass times and we're both inside and outside, this Sunday, September 20th, we are welcoming children, youth, and families to return to the 8.30 Mass, to return to being readers at Mass and cantors at Mass, and also to return to faith formation in our parish hall, where we will ask families to sit as families at individual tables, either inside or outside of the patio, just as you're inside or outside for Mass. And next week, we are also reimagining our junior high lock-ins for many of you that have participated or who have not participated yet, 6th, 7th, 8th grade, high school, we won't be here overnight in the church this year, and we are going to welcome you the first time on Wednesday, September 23rd, from 6 to 8 outside. We have quite a number of you that have said you'll be here already. Please join us on Wednesday night. We're going to talk about best days of the week, best times of the day. We've tentatively scheduled some Fridays. We are open to the day and date and time. And our Sunday night, Faith in Life, which we began last year for college older high school students who drive and college-age students. We welcome you back this year. That will begin again on Sunday evenings, a week from this Sunday, the 27th, from 6.30 to 8. And again, there are about eight of you who have already said, yes, I would, I'm looking forward to returning. And for my college students away that were participating last year, we're excited to Zoom you in virtually. So we're gonna, we're gonna manage this in a, in a new way, and we're gonna reimagine it. And we're going to take our inspiration, just as our families are being inspired educationally, and our teachers, just as our Mother Mary inspires us, we want to welcome you back. Thank you, Paul. Oh, thank, thank you, Deacon Charlie. Gertrude, thank you. And to let you know, uh, because this will be the first Sunday that we resume uh, the classes. Yes, yes. And, and then at noon, the parish council is going to meet outside of the parish hall under the tent, uh, and we'll be with our masks and socially distancing. But they wanted to meet uh, in person uh, as opposed to virtually and so we're going to have sandwiches available and uh, we'll be able to invite you to please be at that meeting so we can see how it went. Yes, I'm excited to be there for the call. And may I just also add our website, St. Catherine Drexel, if you Google St. Catherine Drexel in Alton, New Hampshire, you will find details about how we safely are here in person, how we're beginning to gather in person and virtually, continue to gather virtually. And I encourage you to go to our website or call the parish office if you have any questions at all. And this Sunday, if you haven't registered for Faith Formation, you can do it in person when you get here. So please don't let that be a hindrance to you coming. Just please join us. Yeah, and also once a month, our deacons preach at the, at the weekend masses. And this coming weekend, uh, Deacon Charlie and, and, and Deacon Rick Hilton will, will, will be the homilists. So all Father Jerry and I have to do is just say Mass. It's like a weekend off. The real work is preaching. Isn't it, Charlie? That's the real work. Oh, yeah, the real work. So, Will, thanks for having us on. God bless, and hope to see you next week. Thank you. Thank you, Father Cole. Thank you for tuning into our weekly program. Remember, there's always something to do in and around Wolfboro. If you'd like to add an event to our program, please contact Wolfboro Community Television Station 569-0219 or send an email to wctv25 at gmail.com. We hope to see you out and about, and we look forward to seeing you next week. With clear eyes and full hearts, I'm William Hunter for Wolfboro Community Television, bringing your community to views.